Good morning, good evening, and uh, good day wherever you are from. Now the video you're about to see, this is the end of the day, and it's been a reasonably uneventful day for a number of reasons. The day was about me visiting some clubs for my work that I do. I made my way up the top, so I left the Gold Coast at 6.30 this morning. First stop um, to Wanton, where I uh, met uh, a colleague and did a story. Then the next stop was Maryborough and then Gympie in between. Anyway, I get to, and to get to Maryborough was another couple of hours and got there only to find out that my people that I was uh, interviewing and everything forgotten or weren't told that I was coming. So it was a total waste of time. So I went an extra 30 minutes onto a place called Harvey Bay where I'm treating myself to a spa. The video you're about to see is not much really. I did try and find Aussie towns that I could do a story on, so I thought to Wanton might have been one, and uh, I just couldn't get much information out of the the, the people there. And then I thought, well, uh, Umundi is not far, and everyone to uh, has asked me to go to Umundi. So I went to Umundi. Being a Monday, there wasn't much happening, uh, and I talk about that, but again, very difficult to find a local there. Went to Gympie, then I went to Maryborough, for the meeting which never happened. Now I'm in Harvey Bay. So I don't know what you're about to see because I'm just about to edit after this beautiful spa. I've got way too many bubbles in here. I deserve it. Well, good morning, good evening and good day wherever you are from. Thanks for joining my channel again. I have just ridden from the Gold Coast after the Cooley Rocks Festival. I think some work along the way, but in between I'm coming through these really interesting towns. A place called Tawanton. And there's a tourist information centre, which is where I always usually start to get the local goss. And it's a cute little town. It originally was, it's right near Noosa um, on the Sunshine Coast of Queensland. And this was the original Noosa, I've been told, before they took the trendy town of Noosa more towards the coast. It well could be brought to you by the letter T. Here at the Tawantan Tourist Information Centre. It's called Parkins Hut. Parkins Hut. Yes. And um, so these lovely ladies are just sitting here minding their own business and I've come and interrupted their morning tea. No, no. Have you got some history to yeah, share? Can you ladies can tell me what goes on in Tawanton. It's a sleepy country town. Yeah. This was a gold mining hut, was it? Right. What went on in this hut? They're just gold miners. Gold They're miners just, just... Slept in here, cooked in here. Oh, okay. These are the original floorboards. Yeah. Wow. Uh, How did it get the name? Is it named after a pioneer or an indigenous no, name? No, it has something to do with the gathering of the logs. I'll do some research on that. That didn't exist. No. And that's Noosa now. That's true. And this is to here. And that she lives here, does she? Yeah. Oh, Yvonne Goolagong, the tennis yeah, tennis legend. Yeah. Thank you so There's much, ladies. To is believed to come from the Aboriginal world Duwadan, meaning place of dead trees, referring to the enormous collection of cut logs floating in the bays and lakes around the settlement prior to shipping. So gold and logging around this area. Okay, I, don't, I think this might be a mixed series. This might just be just, you know, let's capture a few interesting little villages, I think. I've just popped into the Emporium, Umundi Emporium, and the lovely Robin here to greet me, because uh, the Tourist Information Centre was closed. All right. I'm new here. But you have discovered that this was uh, once a hardware store. Once a hardware store. Yeah. And this is—is is this all local artists and? Well, how does it work? What Umundi is the Emporium? Emporium. Mm. is part of the markets however it is open seven days a week yep. this is a store called agave blue which i have been to before she imports all the most amazing boots and being a monday of course she's not open which is a shame well it's probably not a shame because i really don't need to be buying any more boots ah john murray is a famous australian artist i thought i recognized his stuff Right, well, the bookstore, which was highly recommended, it's an amazing store. They're not locals, so they've got nothing that they can share with me. And they don't know anyone around here either. So I'm going to look into the pub, maybe. Not having much luck, I might have to just Google the whole lot for you. So you're a local, what's your name? Ken. 
Ken and you're a local? Yes, Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy and Ken. Yeah. Any history about you, Mundy? How yeah, it there was only three stalls over there to start with. Now yeah. there's 3,000. There's a lot, yes. And a bloke said to me once when I was working at the factory, he said, you can buy a bag of pot on the street, you Mundy. And I said, is that right? Yes. So it's, it's some, there's some local growers about, is there, for, yeah, the, yeah, for the herbs? Yeah, well, yes. Yeah. Eleven herbs and spices, yeah. Umundi. Yeah. <laughs> you know uh, what the meaning of Umundi is, what it means? Uh, the yeah, uh, Black Snake. And the home of uh, Red Belly Black Snake. The, the home of Red Belly uh, Black Snake. And the Black Snake. Oh, so that's the creature that lives here, oh, yeah, mainly. Yeah. So there's yeah. lots of Red I Belly Black Snake. It was to do with a place of big trees. Yes, correct. Oh. Aboriginal or the indigenous meaning yeah. for Umundi is the. Black is Red Belly Black Snake or. The place, place, of big trees. place of big trees. The best ginger is grown here. Yes. Right. Any other little bits of trivia like that about Umundi? Yeah. There's no butcher or news agents in no. Umundi. No. Okay. Any gossip? Yeah, there's 58 coffee shops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Any mythical creatures live here? Or oh, the mythical creature? <laughs> Ken. <laughs> Ken. Um, Yowie. Is there a Yowie? I think there's one out of Kenilworth. Like yeah, that's in your place. How far is, is that your place? Is it no, Ken no, no. Oh, Kenilworth, Kenilworth is, is next it... down out, out So they've got there. Yowies there. Oh, they... Oh, is it? Oh, Kil the Kilroy... I saw something in the free paper about there was one out of Kenilworth they were looking at. Yeah. And that's a Yowie. That's like a Bigfoot thing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. They're too much. Yeah, oh. Uh, They've done a little, too much chuff, you reckon? Yeah. Yeah. Family, Ken? No. No? no. You've been solo batching all your life? Yeah. Oh, right. Had a few girlfriends. Yeah. yeah. And, and they're all up themselves, aren't they? You know, those you know creatives. what they're like. Yeah. 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 But yeah, that, those creatives can be up themselves. You Monday become a bit gentrified with all those up themselves people? Yeah. 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 Thanks Ken and Jimmy for your time. At least someone talked to me, no one else knows anything in town. Ah. Can't even buy a pie in you Monday. They don't have plain mince, they only have chunky. I won't do it. I don't like chunky beef pies, I just like plain mince. Everyone has plain mince. Well that's you Monday. I'm sorry it's not much actually. It's a cute town I've got to say. Okay as you know I do like looking at real estates in towns. So this is like 33 acres. Two and a half mil. That's on a big block, 500,000. Well, goodbye, you Monday. The local lads were fun. Well, we're here in Maryborough now. A lot of these old style Queenslander homes, like that. And I'm just looking for the club. So pissed off. I've ridden all this way. I had this is part of my job. Visiting a club here. It was all teed up with the managers. And I come and have a chat to them, do a story on the club, take pictures, do my thing. None of them are here. So I've just fought through, you know, hours of fucking traffic and I'm gonna to go to Harvey Bay now. Half an hour away. I haven't eaten today. It's to get here by three o'clock to be on time. Let's go to Harvey Bay. Typical. It doesn't close till five, it's only 20 past four. Well, that was unsuccessful, trying to find somewhere to stay. The Mantra, 199, then I thought I'll get a budget caravan park. It's more expensive. I'm over it. Pissed off, actually. This is my room, it's quite, oh, I've got a spa. Oh. Interesting. And out here is the marina. Anyway, I don't know that this is going to be a video. Let me think about it. Oh my God, I'm a bit cooked. Now I know what lobsters feel like. Yeah.